Recently, Paxton, one of the latest offerings from Backman, arrived on the Witchbold and Stoke Prior Railway. He's a nicely detailed model and will make a great addition to the railway. But just like Toby, he has no proper windows. Why do you do this, Backman? All of my Thomas and Friends locos have been converted to battery power and radio control. So before Paxton can take his place in the loco fleet, he too will have to visit the workshop. Dismantling him is simple. There are just six screws holding on the body. Paxton's face is clipped in position, so pops out very easily. His body is largely empty, which leaves plenty of room to add a battery pack and all of the radio control components. I've chosen to fit a small engine radio control kit from Fosworks, which comes complete with a My Loco Sound card. This is how the kit comes out of the box. Everything is connected, so all the customer needs to do is to connect the two motor wires. The battery pack is only partially charged for shipment, so will need to be fully charged before use. The switch is shipped in the off position. Also in the box is the 2.4 GHz transmitter, some double-sided adhesive tape and these handy self-adhesive cable clips. A smart charger is also needed, but I already had one of these, and to program the sound card a remote control is necessary, but again this is something I already owned. Cut the two motor wires a couple of inches from the motor and bare the ends of the wires. Find the green connector block and screw in the two cables. Switch on. Power up the transmitter, it is already bonded to the receiver, and turn the regulator. Check that the loco wheels rotate in the correct direction. Mine didn't, so I had to swap over the two cables in the green connector block. Decide where you want to mount the switch, charge socket and speaker. I found the best place was underneath Paxton's cab. All that then remains is to use the double sided tape and cable clips to mount the rest of the components and to program the sound card. Full instructions are provided. Test everything before reassembly. Lastly, add Paxton's face. This just clips back in position, but make sure that the levers which make the eyes move from side to side are correctly located. So how does Paxton perform? Well, on the level as you can see, he can pull a 21 truck train with ease and I believe he could pull many more. Here he is pushing 21 trucks up a 1 in 40 gradient from a standing start. He manages it in spite of some wheel spin, however when I eased off the throttle the spinning stopped and he was able to pull away smoothly. I am very impressed with Paxton and I can thoroughly recommend the small engine remote control unit kit from Fosworks. However I'm not impressed with the phony windows and I will be cutting out the apertures and adding glazing before he fully enters service.